Another view of life under Batista. Goar Mestre, businessman, owner of Havana's largest TV stations, looks back upon the Batista era, remembers it with loathing. Don't forget that for the past seven years, we have been operating under fear, under a brutal repression, under tremendous corruption. Those two factors no longer exist. There is no repression. We feel for the first time that we can go out like normal human beings and not fear, be shot at, be imprisoned, be humiliated. And we feel that we can operate in business normally without extortion, without graft, without corruption. What more can a businessman ask? Where do you think Fidel Castro is going? I think Fidel Castro has as his principal task to see to it that this revolution is not lost, that the peace is won. I think he will be uh, watching from a reasonable distance to see that the ideals that he fought for are not forgotten. I think he will let the civil government run the country, but he'll be watching over all of us. Where do you think he will be three, four years from now? I think he'll be in much that same position, but eventually I'm inclined to think that Fidel Castro will be president of Cuba when he's of age, which he will not be on the next election. What do you feel is the main point of controversy between Cubans and Americans today? What are, what are your reactions? My reactions towards the United States? Uh -huh. Well, I think I can safely say that for the past several years, I have been a bit disappointed. You know, I have great admiration for the American people, great admiration for the United States. I think, however, that the United States that has the great virtue of practicing what it preaches has not been practicing what it has preached consistently insofar as some of its neighbors are concerned. You mean we practice it at home, we practice uh, uh, some of these home, but we don't do it abroad? You haven't been doing it, in my opinion. And I think there we find the main source of misunderstanding. Are you sort of mad at us in this respect? I, I have been more than mad. I have been very unhappy and very disappointed. You have been living insofar as your foreign relations are concerned, your foreign policy is concerned, Mr. Bates. I would say that you have been living under a double standard. How so? Because things that are very dear to you, like the integrity of the individual, human rights, free speech, uh, things of that sort. Yeah. You have ignored them, I think, in describing the Cuban situation. I've been saying, what is all the fuss about Hungary? Why all the fuss about Hungary? When 90 miles away from Key West, we have had conditions just as bad, if not worse, than those that have prevailed in Hungary. 